let's start off with whether or not you perceive now the Prime Minister to have a mandate to get whatever plans he has through. Yeah, good morning. So uh, Tokyo has enjoyed a very good feeling of the sunny morning to that. And I think Mr. Kishida has the good confidence. He has been given the, the people's trust to that. So even though at the time of the appointment, he lost, uh, he was uh, so much criticized, has uh, lowered the supporting rate from the, 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 the voters. But the reality in the yesterday, even at the evening, they could gain the more than 60 percent of the, the support for the, Mr. Kishida's the administration to that. So that would be reflected in the outcome. Does this, uh, David here, by the way, so yeah, does I this raise the Mr. prospect can... of, of, of more uh, fiscal spending out of Japan? And consequently, do you think this will lead to more debt issuance now that the doors are open for that? Yeah, not only Japan, but many countries now have the going spending, spending, spending. Even the very the cautious the International Monetary Fund recommends many countries to do that. So the, at least this year or next year, the, Japan is going to spend more money to that. But since then, the, the Mr. Kishida has some sound, sound the basis for the recovery of the fiscal soundness to that. I, I think the... He is not the only continuing to spend the money to that. So I think he could start the discussion how to restore the fiscal soundness in Japan to that. That must be very quite different from the other the party members, even the some leaders in the LDP. Watanabe-san, this is Stephen Engel. Good to see you and talk to you again. Uh, I want to ask you about Ishi Kishida-san's yeah. new capitalism uh, policies. How is he going to, and what kind of policies are necessary now before upper house uh, elections next year, in order to raise wages, bridge the income inequalities, and provide growth? It's a lot to do. Yeah, the, still the, the idea of the new capitalism is not so clear, even for me, to that. So, the, but they started the discussion to that. But I think the last the seven years, the LDP has more emphasis on the growth side to that. But uh, Mr. Kishida has claimed the growth and the distribution or redistribution should be coupled with. So I think he's going to discuss on that. But of course, the, to the voters or to citizens, the wage increase is quite important to that. But they, also, they, we have to have the very sound basis for the industry on the future to that. Especially the last 10 years, the Japanese industry is also good performance to that. So I think the, we are somewhat lagging behind the United States, even right. China to that. So I think the, Mr. Kishida is going to discuss on the issues. So not only spending, not only the the redistribution to that. But I think he is going to seek for the new way for the recovering of the Japanese, the, uh, the, the society and the industry to that. The Mr. Abe's the three yellow, the, uh, the theory. First one is short, but the second one and the third one is not so short to that. But I think Mr. Kishida is really going to the shoot the third line for the restructuring and also the innovating in the Japanese the industry to that. We've heard those promises before, sir, so we'll be waiting patiently, obviously, to see if this prime minister, not the revolving door uh, prime ministership, uh, can get the job done. I want to ask about the broader economy because, look, we had Haruhiko Kuroda at the BOJ last week essentially downgrade uh, the inflation outlook to zero, downgraded the outlook for GDP. Uh, you know, exports are weak, obviously, because of transportation bottlenecks. 114, the yen to the dollar will help, but is that negated by these transportation bottlenecks, the supply chain pain we are seeing? Yeah. <clears throat> so as far as the COVID-19 impact is prevailing in the southeastern Asia, and also the hike of the price of the energy is going to have the negative impact on the Japanese economy to that. But I think the even the COVID-19, as far as the COVAC operation is working, and the Asian economy would also recover to that. So I believe the, the middle 2022, 
So I think that we are going to have a little bit better position to that. But the, as you pointed out, before that, the summertime in the next year, we are going to have the election for the upper house. So the Mr. Kishida should show how the, his administration can realize the, what they commit. That is quite important to that. So last of the five years or four years, even the Abe and the Suga administration didn't do the very good thing to that. And also the opposition party has just the, the rosy uh, the illusion to the people to that. So I think that Mr. Kishida is going to have a step by step to go on to that, even not so the wide stride and slide. But I think the real the enforcement and the realization is a quite a big mission to the Mr. Kishida's new administration to that. Otanabe-san, just a final question from me. You know, you just alluded to, to it to some extent. What should be his priority and what are the chances that he can actually address that and perhaps move on to an agenda which may look, look a, a bit like Abenomics, but maybe with his own image perhaps stamped on it? Yeah, as I said, the, to the Abenomics, there is some... The, uh, the against idea and also the, the supporting idea to that. But the real the, uh, this discussion was done to that. So I think the Mr. Kishida is going to the deepen the discussion and also during the process, he has to show the, some transparency and also the, uh, the reality of the discussion to that. So how to proceed to go on the commitment is quite important to that. So that's quite different from the, the opposition party's position to that. So LDP can show, and also Mr. Kishida can show, how we could do in the coming years to that. That is quite important to that.